Hello, and welcome to another episode of I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles, a football manager story. My name's Dave, and you join me back again as we enter our month of doom. We are into December, where we are going up against... We've got this one coming in here. We've got Man U up next in, uh, in today, followed by Chelsea, followed by Liverpool in the space of 11 days three games it's christmas time so 15th 19th 26th uh away at man U, away at chelsea away at liverpool uh, last time you've seen us we're on the uh finished off a, a fantastic home result um beating arsenal one nil uh, we've since then we've gone stayed at home and played west brom so uh won that game that was a, a fantastic 6-3 victory there so we will show the best of the best with this one. So coming into this one, we had Jared Bowen who picked up a knock, so he uh, he was uh, sidelined. There, Fredericks winning in, he's in for Kufal. Brendier, that long ball over the top for Benarama. Pushed over by Ivanovic, 15th minute in. We'll, uh, we'll take the penalty there, 12 yards out. Quick look on VAR, penalty given. Mark Noble stepping up. Suchek, sorry, Suchek stepped up for this one. Straight down his throat. Um, if I remember right, actually Noble is being uh, rested for this one. 21 minutes. It's a penalty down the other end. It's a Diop shoving the back there. The ball went over the top. And have another quick look on VAR. That gets given. And uh, I believe this one's Carl and Grant, you know, stepping up 12 yards out, sends the keeper the wrong way. And it's one all after 22 minutes. From then on, we are uh, we're pretty relentless. On the half hour, four nows. Knocks it back to Robinson. Balbuena, though, dominant as always. And then Benarama, parts open for him, right footed. Nestles in against the post. It's his first ever goal for West Ham. It's probably only his second ever game. Uh, 35 minutes cleared off the line by Baba Rahman there. He had uh, won the header. And 37 straight into Fabianski with the free kick. Never any doubt there, really. And then playing out the back as we are. Ryan Fredericks on a gut busting run. Breaks it through everyone, gets to the byline, pulls it back, and there's Benarama again. That's his second of the game. That takes it to 3 1 West Ham. And 38 minutes. 2 1 West Ham. 2 1 West Ham, that's sorry. No, it is 3. Yeah, it is 3. What am I on about? Losing track. Lovely little interplay here. Ball playing defenders, all of, all of them. Baba Rahman again coming in, but straight at the keeper with that one. His full back really should be looking at cutting that back there, I think. No idea what that throw was about. Giving it back to him after an injury, obviously. Now and then, then to break. But Fede break coming in for Declan Rice. We rested both the central midfielders in this one. And we jumping in there, but Suchek winning it back as he's ball winning midfield as opposed to one to the other to the other. And then Johnston making a good save there, which takes us into the second half now. Fredericks winning from their goal kick to four nows, coming into the area, pulling it across, no one there. Benarama pulling it back. And that's an own goal from Livermore. A uh, bit of a uh, fumble there, comedy, an own goal. But uh, it's, it's, it's starting to look pretty good here. That was 4-1 uh, on the 55 minutes, though. Carlin Grant on the attack gets to his byline. Fortunate there that uh, Fredericks got in the way of the shot. And then Fabianski with a good hand there. And they'd stepped it up for a little while here. They'd, they'd started to push his back a little bit. So 
Sam Johnson with a long clearance up front, but won by two check. Baba Rahman winning that. And then quick into play again. Emmy Brundia. But again, again, soft, soft shot there. Safe, safely hands by uh, Johnston. But they can't stop this one. Ben Arama comes in, round the keeper, slots it in for his hat trick. His first goal, his first three goals. That makes it 5 1 with a half hour to play. We made a couple of changes there. Wallace came on. Robson Canoe picks it up and hitting us on the break here. Pereira takes it up. They seem to wake up, as I say, this second half. And uh, although we're comfortable here at 5 1 as it stands, they never stopped. They never stopped playing. It was never all one way traffic. That should have been a warning, warning sign there to us just to focus a little bit. Because then a few minutes later again, they're coming again. And Arama, the amount of headers that he wins for us, it's uh, incredible. Frederick, so like he did in his previous games, he, he, he's dangerous on that right flank when attacking. So change a non-short corner. And they they keep trying. They keep winning these uh, these free headers. A long ball free clearance from Balboina though is not the best idea when we're not playing strikers. But one thing you have to do is keep the ball and play it short. We don't need no point long ball over the top all the while. We haven't got any strikers to, to win it. And we've had plenty of chances. We've also had plenty of chances to go take further and further ahead at 5-1. It's there. But then 13 minutes to play. A little bit of in play down the wing. Carl and Grant gets to the byline and, and ricochets it off the keeper. He claiming the goal. I'd call it an own goal personally. We had a free kick. We tend to play Benarama going for his fourth. It's uh, pushed over the edge. Again, no short corner. No joy. Suchek had carried up, picked up a knock. 5-2, we're still attacking. But it is leaving us open to these breaks that they're taking advantage of. On Grant Maisie feet. Despite being rooted to the foot of the table, they, they are quite a decent pass inside West Brom. Again, that long ball over the top to no one is quite disappointing. Something we all need to keep a look at. And Carlin Grant across the keeper on the volley. That's his hat trick. Which made it 5 3. And I'll not lie, I was uh, worrying a little bit here. They, uh, they were having the better of the second half by no. Uh, no stretch of the imagination. We made a couple of changes. Alicia had come on as well there, winning the header, which sets us away. Pablo Fornells wraps it up 6 3 on 88 minutes. So we're having no problem scoring goals. I don't think there's uh, too many clean sheets for us been this season. But that was there, uh, Benarama. As I say, very, very good first start for him. A hat trick up on there. Uh, and uh, issues being uh, we keep losing our man, I think, when running from deep. Something we usually need to keep a look at. So that was there. So the tactics-wise, uh, in case you've not seen, you, you've not been there from the very beginning, we are playing a strikeless formation. It's a 5-2-3 strikeless formation. Um, when we're out of possession, 
we are playing an incredibly high line. I've not got a problem with that incredibly high line, though, because if you look at the pace of the defenders we've got with the fullbacks, we've got Baba Rahman, pace of 15. Fredericks, his pace of 17. So they're getting back absolutely no problem there. Central halves, we've got, we've got Barbarena, he's 11. He's not, he's not slow, but he's not the most rapid. Issa Diop, 14. He's got the pace. He's got the one that can get back there if needed. And then Angelo Ogbonna, he's knocking on a little bit though, but he's got 13 pace. So he's got the pace to be able to get back. That's why I've got no problem with these incredibly high lines. Cl condenses the play as well with it. As we're here and out of possession, always stopping the short kicks. I want them pressing. I want them pressing. We're playing a Gengen pressing. We're, we're constantly, we've got always going at them. We are on a tighter marking, forcing the opposition outside. Three in the middle. Let them outside. Let them throw the balls in there. We've got three good heading centre halves. So I've got no problem with that at all. On the break, on the chains there as it's dropping over, we are counter pressing. And when we've got the possession being won, we are going, we're going quick. Always distributing to the full to the centre halves, not to the fullbacks. No point distributing to the fullbacks. They are pushing on their both wing back attacks. And it's always a short kick because no point kicking it long because we've not got a striker in there. And then when we're in possession, we're playing out of defence. Hitting the early balls in there for the ball players from deep to run into. A high tempo and a slightly shorter passing and slightly uh, slightly narrower in there. So that's where we are with the formation. As I said, there's no strikers up there. Okay, We've got an attacking uh, advanced playmaker on attack and then two shadow strikers, two ball winning midfielders supporting. The idea of that being they shuttle across from one side to the other. Whichever side the ball's on, they're going across there and they're winning that ball back quickly and, and recycling the ball so we can go again and then hitting them on the counter. Two wing-backs on attack on there and then three centre defense, central defenders on defend. I don't want them pushing up. Um, I did used to have a ball-playing midfield, ball playing defender in the middle there um, or Libero, but they're finding themselves getting outnumbered, especially with the high line that we play. So that's that's where we are with with Gudger Ball, as it's been uh, been coined, which moves us on now to our next game. We have got, as I said, the uh, the second game from the month of Doom. We have got now Man United. We are away. It is a, uh, a top of the table clash. We have played eleven. We've won ten. The only loss coming to uh, Aston Villa after we'd had such a fantastic start. It brought it down to, down to earth with a bump. And give myself a little wake-up call as well of uh, not so gung-ho in every match. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we are Man U at home. No new injuries that we need to worry about. Um, we will go balanced on this, though. We uh, We don't need to go... So onto them, um, pressing Paul Pogba all the time, which we should be doing anyway, but we'll do that. Um, Declan, no, I'm not worried about that. We did rest Declan and Mark Noble because they were on bookings um, and there was a chance of them missing, both missing this. So they're both back in the squad now. I, I, I run the risk if they get booked and losing them both for the next game. That's not a problem at all. Um, I can't drop Ben Rahama. He's, he's scored a hat-trick. There's absolutely no point in... Uh, Dropping him now. We'll see how we get on. So we're good to go. We're down on the balanced. So let's see how we do. There we are then. Opposition instructions are there to work uh, just on Paul Pogba. So the team sheets are in. They're going De Gea, Wambasaka, Lindelof, Maguire, Tellez. So yeah, Cavani's up top. So no pace that we need to worry about really. Okay then, uh, Mark Bruno Fernandez, yes, at all times. Okay, point the finger. Me just been giving you a lot of credit. I'll put a worthy display. And here we go, at Old Trafford. 
second big test really we came through the arsenal one no problem let's see how we do against man united started off early we broke down the left now the arsenal game we broke very very early got a very early goal so we're going for the same again here Fredericks getting to the byline pull it back Oof. okay that's a good start that's a good start Liverpool take the lead at West Brom. Ten minutes in, no chances. I'll be honest, I'll take the point. I think uh, you've got to be uh, I'll be realistic here. Man here on the tech on the right to Lingard. Good block. Good block. Tell us back to Lingard in the middle again. Okay, can we counter? Let me bring the And a good tackle there from Pogba. Still just the one chance in the game. It's, um, and City take the lead at Everton, and that's wide from Lingard. Let's just give these guys a little bit of encouragement. We need to. Uh, Register something. And over the top. That's fine. That's fine. Liverpool 2 0 up. Half hour gone. Still not registered. Chance ourselves. Balboina booked. Oh no, is that outside? That's that could go either way. I think it was outside. I hope it was outside. No penalty. <sighs> yes, a free kick, but it's outside the box. Ooh. Frederick booked. Okay, okay. No one's having a, a nightmare game. Fernandez closed it down. And Feb Fabianski was a good hands. Man City 2 0 up. Liverpool 3 0 up. Ben Raham is not having a particularly good one. Fredericks, he gave that free kick away. So that's why he's down at 6.4, I think. Offside there. Oof. Over the top, anyway. Emmy's yeah, not having the best. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Play the short. Pull back. Hit it. Oh, blocked. Blocked. <sighs> so, yeah, does not have the best of games. He might have to come off. Noble needs you in there. Kufal's on the bench. That's okay. Okay. That's all right. Nil nil at half time. We've not had a shot though. That's the disappointing part there. Um, I can handle the draw. Point the finger. Let's go out there. Give the fans the money worth. I've never liked that one. There's not many here that actually mean give a damn about the fans. Everything you've got, we deserve to win. Okay, there's a couple that need to up their game this second half. Um, Sire Benarama is one. Oh, what on earth is that? <sighs> Brain gets one of these players sometimes. Okay, Fredericks is going to come off and Ben Rahama is going to come off. Let's just see how this one pans out, playing from the back. Ball on the floor until we're ready for a ball through the top. Is Fredericks getting there? No. <laughs> Disappointing. Well blocked, well blocked. Took enough off of that. Okay, so let's let's do what we need to do here. Fredericks has not been playing well, so let's get Kufal on the pitch. And Jared Bowen. Side Ben Rahama. <sighs> I 
I have to oh, with two chances now at least. Chances have been made. Onto the edge. Four nails on the block. That's okay. He's falling to us again. Bon dia. Can you do something with it? Oh, another block. Okay, all of a sudden four chances come out of nowhere then. The edge to Declan Rice. Yes! Get in! Come on then! There he is, that lurk on the edge. Short corner, lurk on the edge, attack from the edge. The man on the edge that attacks takes his man away. There we go, there. There we go, he's pulling off to Leckham Rice and he's in there. Get in. Okay, half hour to play. Half hour to play. We've had one shot on target and we've scored. I'll take it. I don't mind. Always press Alan Banner. I'm not swapping that. Okay, come on, Bowen with the call, free kicking. Oh, no brainer. Off the post. From about level with the goal line. Good tackle. Oh, I fell to him, though. Cavani. Let him have it. Set the men up. Win the header. Oof, we've got to win the header. If we're letting them cross the ball, we've got to win the header. I said the up. It's not having a good game. So let's just uh, is that off Craig Dawson on and that's the third change 20 to play Declan oh that's a good tackle and the counter in now good tackle Rice well done battle back there let me bring here come on make the ball Bowen Joey Bowen Yes! Get in! Substitution. Work to treat. Two chances on target. Two goals. 20 minutes to play. And then ball winning midfielders. Like Terrier like in the middle there. Win it back. And then the ball. Superb run from deep. And a cheeky little dink over the oncoming keeper. De Gea had no chance. And 2 0 up. And yeah, we'll make that change. It's a D up. He's not at the best. Let's bring uh, Dawson on and hope that he can just win these headers coming in. Fabianski, two of them deep there. And Fabianski will hold. Okay, 15 to play. Made all the chances we can get. Do we knock it down some? Focus. Let's see this out. Ten to play. My new fans already heading for the exits. That's what we like to see. They've given up. Five to play plus injury time. Uh, Declan Rice is that booked there, so he's missing the next. And Ren Noble, they've both been booked. They're both missing the next game. But <laughs> it's Chelsea. We're going to miss one or the other. Winter injury time. Looks like they're going to see this one out quite cool. Oh, spoke too soon. Edison Cavani. Oh, well out, Fabianski. Took it off his toes. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Out to Oggy. Lovely little triangles playing up the field. For now, it's out to Baba Rahman in space. Is that offside? Yeah, it had to be. Had to be. Probably about three yards by the look of it. Are we going to have a look? No. Okay, that's all right. Oh, we've won it back though. Kufal, you're good at doing this. Now drive. Oof. Take that. Jared Bowen. Okay, no man, you might now. You'll do. Okay, ref, blow the whistle. Oh, here's the, here's the disallowed goal. Yeah, he's a yard off. He's a yard off. Oh, lost his man well, though. And that's it. Get in. Come on. Yes. 2-0. 4-0 is not the best of game. Brendan and Bowen took, 
stood up for it though. Rice and Noble, they're both but they're both missing the next game. They're both missing the Chelsea game. Alfred Sam's very, very happy with the way we played. That's two, three games into the uh, month of doom and uh, three wins. Maybe I was uh, a little bit too apprehensive about this. Um, we are now two points clear with a game of hand, game in hand still. That is against Man City, admittedly. Um, but yeah, Chelsea's up next. We'll call this video here. And uh, we'll see you next time for the Chelsea game. Thanks for watching. If at all, you see, I always forget to do this. Always, always forget to do this. We've got this nice little bit called hit and subscribe and like. Yeah, like the video, subscribe for the channel. You'll get the notifications when this turns up. Any comments you've got, any advice for my formations, any bit thing where you think I need to tweak it, please drop them in the comments. I'll read them all. I'll reply to them all. Okay, thanks for watching.